Last Saturday, I found a rare Pokemon card in my local pawn shop. A graded PSA 9 2000 Dark Charizard Hollow. This thing was beautiful. I had to have it, but unfortunately the pawn shop knew it was a rare card too, pricing it up for $799. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. As a full-time eBay reseller, I'm always looking for items that I can flip for a profit. So I checked to see what the card had previously sold for and I saw a comp on eBay for $1,000. So I thought if I could get the guys at the local pawn shop to drop the price just slightly for me, this might be something I could go ahead with. What would be your best price, do you think? We did pay a little bit for it. Did you? Yeah, they, they did pay, they didn't muck around with the price. They, on it, so they didn't undercut. Right, okay. Got it, so I could probably go 750. That's probably where we can move it at the moment. 750. So, yeah. so 750 bucks at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and go for 700 for everything, including the 200 cards. If he, if he says yes to 700, then I'll do it. He said no to the $700 offer, but in the end, I accepted the $750 offer, and I now have myself a rare 2000 Charizard Hollow. What have I just done? Let's hope we can make some money. Now that we have the card, all I want to do is sell this thing for a profit. So I've gone ahead and I've taken some photos and I've listed it up onto eBay for $1,000. I've also gone and joined a bunch of Pokemon buy, sell and trade groups and I'm listing it up for sale there for $900. So hopefully this thing can go on to sell. So no one's bought the Charizard in three days. I've had 66 listing views on eBay with two watches and my Facebook Marketplace group generated one inquiry, but in true Facebook Marketplace fashion, they yet to reply. So without a quick sale eventuating, there really is only one thing left to do. I'm gonna pay it off by flipping items on eBay. I'm gonna go out to local pawn shops, thrift stores and flea markets to try and find enough profit to be able to pay for the $750 purchase. You guys have seen me do this over the last 16 weeks building up to what was a 10 day thrift trip to the USA. We saved up $8,000 on that occasion, so we can definitely can tick this off. I'm gonna set myself a seven day deadline to clear this debt, and it's gonna make me feel a whole lot better about things. So let's dive into the first spot. We'll check out the flea markets and see what we can find. Season four, volume one. Ah, volume one. Won't, won't be it for me. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Wait. What's it, is this VHS? Yeah. Old school style. Old school style. Yeah. What do you got on that? Right. Five bucks? Really All right, add it to the pile. I need listings, eh? Hey? Look these up in the spare time. These, what do you lose? They go for like quite a bit. Do they? Yeah. Who are they? Um, oh, yeah, okay. They go hard. I've sold a few individually that go well. Dude, I didn't realize until um, I looked them up because I didn't know what they were. Yeah. I think like 60 on the red one. Loose. Yeah, loose. <laughs> what are you moving them for? You tell me, my man. The listings, be right. Yeah, I know. Do you know what he's got on these? No. You'd be up high on the hokers. You'd be up high on the hokers. How much? Worst you can say is no, my man. Sheffield United is pretty cool. What are they? What are they playing in? That's one of the teams in England. Yeah, is it like Div Div Two League? Yeah, thought so. I don't think they played EPL for a little bit. I'll start putting the things together. Keep that. Go these two if you reckon they were good. Throw you throw me your lowest offer. Uh, Alright. Well, yeah, well. like, your lowest offer is like you just went to a thrift store and. Well, if I was in a thrift no, I, I think the best way to do it would be to give my best. Okay. Um, me, if I'm in a thrift store buying, I'll pay no more than 20. Okay. 25 is probably a pass, but literally 25 is the max I'd go for those. Okay. That DVD, five bucks. The two Funkos, five each. So what's that equal? 25, 45, 50, 60. 60? Oh. All right, my man.
I found myself a little hidey hole in this op shop, guys, and we've got a lot of DVDs to pick from here. I've ended up going with five. Trick or Treat is the first one there. This unlawful entry. All of these DVDs that I'm showing you range between $15 to $20 on eBay. Big Frat uh, Fat Gypsy Weddings Series 2. It's a good one to find. Goes for about $22.50. And then Nine Months. That one was even better because it was brand new and sealed. You guys hopefully by now know watching this channel that you should be looking for your brand new and sealed DVDs. <laughs> you'll always get a few more dollars. Ravenous as well. Uh, look, not too bad of a collect there, guys. You're talking about $70 worth of DVDs, and I just paid a short five bucks for them. Um, jumped into this as well. I grabbed some hats. Now, I do love my hats, and this Adidas one, look, it does need a little bit of a clean. It's a, a yellow uh, five panel. I do like the five panel hats. A Nitro Circus hat as well. All of these hats, I think I can move for about $30. I, I do pick up quite a bit when I'm out in the thrift, and, and this was actually a pretty good little collection, just a $4 on that occasion. Tommy Hilfiger as well for another four bucks, just a plain red, really nice front logo on that one as well. So that's just a brand that I'll always try and find. And then this one here as well, the Asics GT2000, women's running shoes. They're only a short size, size four, but they're only $8. So I've gone ahead and picked that up. And then this one as well, the LeBron James Strive for Greatness T. Look, it's an $8. LeBron James, he is the man. I'm happy to pick him up because he should move in a pretty quick sell-through rate. That was a size medium, but I'm not typically picking up my T-shirts too much anymore. This Jordan jumper for $25. In the end, I decided that it was just a little bit too much money to be spending on a single item of clothing. Hey guys, um, editor Matt here. I've saved the best item for last actually. It was found in this thrift store actually right at this very moment, but I'm choosing to put it at the end of the video. So stick around for it. It's a good one. We've come through with the hat section yet again, guys, for just $4 a piece. I've got a number of good ones here. The first one is this inside. This one's actually got a little woolen blend to it as well. So that was really cool. I've gone ahead and picked that up. That should convert into about 30. These furfy beer hats. They actually sell for about 30 bucks a piece as well. The promotional beer hats, they go really well. This Volcom hat, I just love the logo, the front logo on it. That should convert into about $30 as well. So the hats, we did pretty well in there for just the $12. I moved myself into a Vinnie's and I've got a 2018 Gold Coast Commonwealth Games windbreaker jacket here for just the $20. And yep, there's some really good comps on eBay there for $85 plus postage. RM Williams, have a look at these jeans. I didn't know whether or not to go ahead with these or not. It was just a little mark. That little mark right there, I just didn't know if that was part of the make or not. Um, so I ended up leaving this one behind. But guys, if you find RM Williams long haul jeans, um, these go for some really, really good money. Talking about $45 for these. So that was a good little grab, but I left it behind. Um, this one here, RM Williams, the boots. Now, if you can find these, you're going to make yourself a lot of money on eBay, but not when you're buying them for $150. What are these guys doing? We're trying to get them for a low cost here, guys. I've got the Wave Enigma 3s here. There's some women's running shoes, US 11. They've actually gone on to sell already for $46. So our first sale is in the bank, which I'm very, very happy about. I've got some Nike Harache running shoes here. If you can find these shoes, guys, you're gonna get a very, very good sell-through rate. I'm just paying the $5 for these, and I should be able to convert them into around about $65. The condition of them, obviously, in very, very good nick. So that was a good little grab. The Nike Luna Glide 6. These women's running shoes are actually going to go on to make me around about the $45 price point. So that was pretty good. And then I just like this one as well. This was a bit of a novelty tee. Uh, this holiday sucks. This is a local Gold Coast brand. Uh, I just love this t-shirt, Lobster Shanty. And to have it actually just for the $3, I thought that was a pretty decent price point. So I've gone ahead and picked that one up as well. So that little run of op shops has actually come through with the goods and I haven't had to fork out too much money. Jumped into a pawn shop as well, just to have a bit of a look around, and I've got this modern Batman for $69. Now, this one just seems to be a bit of a rare collectible. When I had a look on eBay, there was just some international sales for this one. We had 105, 105 out of box and 157 in box, so at $70, there definitely is some wiggle room to make a few dollars, but I wasn't sure whether or not to go ahead. I also found this as well. Every single episode of Supernatural on the Blu-ray. Now, we've got seasons one to 15 here, and if you've got a brand new, Goes for upwards of $320, guys. A huge bolo. But in the end, I wasn't sure. Would love to know what you would have done with the Supernatural Blu-ray. I was very tempted at 100 But, I don't know. It's a, it's a big spend for some DVDs or Blu-rays. Um, brand new for 300 Might have been able to sell them pre-owned for 200 But, um, 
hundred bucks, I just left them alone. The other one was that DC Batman uh, vinyl figure limited edition as well for seventy bucks, and you know forty one dollars in in profit if you were to be able to sell it for one hundred and fifty dollars. It'll cost a little bit to ship off, but. These are all the mind games that you got to play with yourself when you're in there in the pawn shops because they price up and they need to price up to make a profit, but they do have the better items. And sometimes I think it's best to strike on those things. But on this occasion, the two goodies that I saw in there, I left behind. So a pretty successful day in the thrift, a total of 19 items. And when you add it all up, I'll list it all up onto eBay for $674. I haven't showed you one item though. I saved the best for last, my 30% clubbers that stick around to the end. Check this out. We've got a Nike windbreaker jacket, vintage black, full zip. Got a big Nike on the back there as well. This was just $15 in the thrift, size extra large. I should be able to go and convert that into about $80 on eBay, which brings us up to that $674 that I speak of. Now, when you add in the $250 from the flea, um, that turns into about 900, I wrote it down, it was $924.50, and I like to take out 45% left over as what I take home for profit when you take fees, postage, cost of goods. So that works out to $416 that we're gonna account for the Charizard Debt Collect. Now there will be a second episode because I'm still a little bit short, $416 isn't quite the 750 bucks that I paid for that Charizard card. So you'll see that video on Sunday guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already to catch that episode. Look forward to seeing you in the next vid guys. My 30% clubbers, you guys are the best. We'll see you soon.